Marietta, established in 1788, making it the oldest city in Ohio, is located southeast of the Muskingum River, just on the border of West Virginia. Marietta Main Street is a nonprofit organization that was created to bring people together to enjoy, enhance, and preserve the downtown atmosphere. An important aspect that is recognized among all Marietta citizens and tourists is the art that has been created throughout the entire city. Marietta was not always decorated with public art such as the murals that can be seen around downtown that were provided by Marietta Main Street. When my parents' family bought this building with this parking pad, it was, I think, I think it was in the 80, or early 80s. And back in then, before it was all the things it's been, it was a big, wide open space. There were lots of cars up here, but for a long time when we didn't have anyone, people would come up and they would be up to no good. So I'd come up to my studio, which is in the back, and there would be broken glass bottles. Um, there were windows that were knocked out. Um, they'd throw stuff into the windows of my studio. And it was just, it was sad because this is such a great space and it was because it's by itself, it was being vandalized all the time. If you allow kids to graffiti it in an artful way, um, then they will respect it. And so I kept trying to get, because the photographers were the number one, that and roller skaters and skateboarders were the number one peoples to wander up here for photos. So I kept trying to get um, the photographers to come and do something that they could use as a background. So finally, I roped um, this one lady in and her daughter, and this is how this came to be. And it changed the life of this building and its parking pad. There's, in the summer, there's like constantly someone up here taking pictures or they've discovered the great um, backgrounds over here. So a little less hard to do bad things because there's the constant influx of people and good things that are happening now. I approached Marietta Main Street way back in I don't know, it was probably 2018 when I noticed this was becoming so um, popular to um, give me a hand and do the rest of the building or, or maybe consider doing downstairs, which was kind of a little blight. There was lots of things that I won't mention that were painted on the walls. And I thought, surely we can get all these talented artists that we have here in the Mid-Ohio Valley, and we can pull everybody together and come up with this spectacular thing. Well, it didn't, it wasn't really received. I went a couple of times, nobody seemed interested. And then finally, Bobby Rosenstock, who is amazing artist from Just A Jar, um, I had a chance to talk to him and he became the um, chair of the arts committee, public arts committee, he was all on board and he is really, really the one that's responsible. I think super important to have these murals because one, it beautifies our town. Two, it gives um, people hope in some of these um, designs that are on the sides of these buildings, like the Let, Grow, Let Love Grow Here was, is beautiful. Um, our history, um, it also um, gives a chance for building owners and for artists to work together. And that's not something that we've been really, really good at. So I think this kind of opened the door. Um, building owners are seeing how much it can improve the, uh, the, the value of their space. And I'm hoping that they will be more open to having beautiful murals on the sides of their buildings because of what we did here. I think the goal was to, to get a bunch of murals up around town. I don't think we really had any ideas on, on what growth would look like. Um, we're really happy with, with the murals, um, especially this, you know, when you think of some of the projects we've taken on, the, the scale of, of some of the really big projects like the tunnel and the parking garage 
were, were pretty large undertakings, um, and it was pretty exciting to see, see murals of, of that scale get completed here downtown. Marietta has been has been known for is known for its cute downtown, its history, its rivers, its stern wheel boats, um, and we're hoping to make art kind of a part of, of one of those things that people when they come to Marietta, they're seeing all these cool murals around downtown, um, and it's becoming one of those things that um, when they go back home to their town, they talk about murals that go up are about Marietta. They're either like literally about like Marietta, like some of the photographs and engraved, historic engravings about Marietta, or the stern wheel boats, or um, they're just pieces that uh, are about community, like good things grow here. Um, our fish mural, we worked with the Ohio River Islands National Wildlife Refuge and found out about all the native um, fish, for flora and fauna in the rivers, and that mural depicts all the fish that could be found in the river. So it's a beautiful piece of art, but it's also a piece that's kind of teaching you about what you could find here in town. So I think it was 2019, Bobby um, reached out to me to see if I want to be part of it. I'm pretty sure that the Public Art Committee has been kind of around for a while, sort of died down and came back a few times and he kind of wanted to get it up and running again. So he reached out and I said, yeah, I'd love to be a part of it. This piece was really collaborative um, because I was part of the committee. We wanted to do a project that sort of we uh, incorporated like all of our thoughts as far as the phrasing and what would be something that uh, really could spark positivity and sort of reflect the community. So we all brainstormed together to come up with a phrase or a couple of phrases that we thought would do that. And then I took that and just like put my artistic interpretation into it. And um, I'm a hand letter and illustrator. So all the type is hand lettered and then uh, the illustration, I decided to go with the dandelion because I think that, that there's a lot of symbolic uh, meaning behind the dandelion being, you know, they persevere, they can grow in any kind of, you know, elements and I feel like that kind of reflects the people and it's also just such a joyful kind of flower and kind of whimsical. Um, so yeah, that's how it kind of came about. It is so exciting to see um, people get excited about it. Like I been a part of a couple of murals and um, hearing the people walking by getting exciting and then after they're up seeing them take pictures in front of it I mean it's just it, that's such a nice thing to see you can tell it clearly like impacts their their feeling of the downtown people are getting excited about them you know um, they're creating fun and just it, it's just really nice to see how um, people have really embraced them and enjoyed them <laughs>